So right now we're entering into the butterfly guard position. A lot of times the butterfly guard happens when my opponent is trying to pass my guard with both hands under my legs. And so what's going to happen is when he tries to pass the guard with both his hands under my legs, I'm going to take my feet and I'm going to put my feet underneath his legs. So now from here he can no longer do like a double leg pass like this because my feet are under his legs. So what most people do is at this point they bring their arms out and then I start to come up and look for my sweeps. However, if his arms are under my legs and they stay under my legs for a minute, I've got a, um, a couple of good submissions I can do. One of them, I can open the collar of the gi and I can put my forefingers in the gi like this. And now I, I go under his chin with my forearm and this hand goes over the top and I make a good choke right here. And as I'm doing that choke, I'm turning my hand like this to get the sharp part of my forearm right against his throat. Also, a submission that I like from there is to catch this wrist before he has an opportunity to pull his arm out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take my other hook and let it go. And I'm going to place my foot here against his stomach. And I'm going to stretch my leg. And it's going to create a bad shoulder lock right there. Let's show from a different angle. So, got your arms inside. So from here... Underhooking, or I'm not underhooking, but reaching into the collar with my four fingers. And I take my forearm, I go under his chin. This hand comes up, and I make the choke here. The hand here, like this, I could catch. And now I'm going to take my foot and I'm going to lay it across his belly, and I'm going to stretch my leg to make the submission hold. Those are two easy submissions when my opponent is first scooping his hands under my legs and I'm making the butterfly guard.